implemented perhaps immediately, but in a staggered manner, but bringing back masks is going to be the easiest option available. Right, so we're likely to see a return of masks on flights and this is in addition to the fact that there could be random testing of international travellers at certain airports as well. Random testing of international, and especially those airports where you see the maximum influx of international travellers, particular focus areas are like to be those countries, uh, passengers coming in from those countries, like say China for that matter, or for that matter America. See the worry over here, Poonam, is that no one may be coming directly from China. The quick example is a passenger may be travelling from say China to America, and then from America to India. And that is where the vulnerability remains. So that is some screening is something which the government is also looking at. Right, Pallavi, thank you so much for putting that in perspective for us and getting us the latest as far as India's COVID fight back is concerned. With that, it's a wrap from me on this edition of Nation at 5. Anusha joins you next. Good evening. You're watching Viewpoint with me, Anusha Soni. The Tawang issue continues to dominate the winter session of the parliament. The opposition today staged a walkout led by Congress leader Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. Mrs. Gandhi also released a statement slamming the government for refusing to allow a discussion on the floor of the House. While opposition parties continue to demand a discussion, irresponsible statements one after the other on the India-China conflict seem to be the norm of the political discourse. Earlier, just about two days ago, we were discussing the statement of Rahul Gandhi, who was slammed by the BJP for saying that Chinese are thrashing our forces. Now, it's Shiv Sena leader from the Thakre faction, Sanjay Raut, who has made another loose comment on an issue concerning national security. Amidst the political stalemate over the issue, there are two crucial aspects that stand out. One is the thorough absence of any constructive dialogue and debate on a matter of national security. And second is the complete breakdown of political cooperation between the opposition and the government, which may be expected at a time like this, which any mature democracy may warrant on an issue as serious as the repeated Chinese transgressions. Cutting through the clutter and sieving through the tamasha, we discuss what lies ahead and whether constructive dialogue has been lost to political stunts. First up, a special report. Jinnu ne 2000 square kilometer Hindustan ka utha liya, jo hamare jawanon ko Arunachal Pradesh mein peet rahe hain. China ko in cheez bhi nahi dege, lekin China ghus gaya hai. China ghus, hum bhi ghusenge. It's open season between the opposition and the centre after the armies of India and China clashed in Arunachal Pradesh earlier this month. But in targeting the Modi government, the opposition is only mocking our soldiers who are bravely defending our borders at 17,000 feet despite the hostile environment. First, it was Congress MP Rahul Gandhi who claimed that our troops are being thrashed by the Chinese. <laughs> Now, Udhav Sena MP Sanjay Raut has equated the border battle in Belagavi to the tussle in Tawang. China goes gaya hai. Hum bhi gusenge. Provocative statements aside, the opposition has stalled parliamentary business for more than a week now, adamant of their demand for a discussion on China. While opposition MPs protested in front of the Gandhi statue in parliament, Congress MP Sonia Gandhi claimed that by disallowing a debate on China, the centre is disrespecting democracy. Demand is that the government is trying to do the Chinese agreement that all the countries have to know. If it is not the government, if it is the government, what does it mean? The BJP tried to turn the tables on the Congress. In 2005, when I was in the opposition and the issue of the China border, they both said that चाइना बॉर्डर का जो इश्यू होता है वो बहुत सेंसिटिव होता है इसलिए पार्लियामेंट में चर्चा नहीं करके उसको इंटरनली डील करना चाहिए और हम लोगों ने उसमें प्रेस नहीं किया आज वही कांग्रेस पार्टी बार बार कह रहे हैं कि इसको चर्चा में लाना चाहिए फ्रॉम मॉकिंग आर सोल्जर्स टू क्वेश्चनिंग द सेंटर इज द ऑपोजिशन ट्रिव्यूलाइजिंग नेशनल सिक्योरिटी
As the political discourse trivialized an issue like national security in our country, I throw that question open to our full panel, which is joining us on the broadcast. We have Charu Pragya, who is the spokesperson of the BJP, Arshpreet Kadyal from the Congress Party. Uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar Jha of uh, the Shiv Sena is also joining us on the broadcast, and Major General K.K. Sena is also with us on the show. Good evening to all of you. Charu, I'll begin with you, and I'm sure you must have read the statement that has been released by Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. There are two parts of it that I want to quote to you. And because you're the government of the day, the elected government of the day, some questions that the opposition parties are asking you. The opposition says that silence on matters of serious concern has become the defining feature of this government's tenure. The refusal to allow a parliamentary debate on such a matter of grave national concern shows disrespect for our democracy. How do you see the statement of Mrs. Gandhi? First of all, it is very unfortunate that uh, the opposition in India it has become a uh, so irrelevant that we think even an issue like China, even an issue like India's internal security can be trivialized by whatever they are doing in parliament. The important thing here is we have statements from our army, we have statements from Gandhi, and in spite of that, in spite of that, leaders from the Congress who should be responsible with the language they use hmm. are using terms like pitai ho gayi are saying the situation in China or talking about how uh, expansion into Indian territory is happening in spite, in spite of having confirmed reports that yeah. not even one inch, one inch of Indian land has been lost. We all know in the skirmish, Indian side came out stronger. We also know that in the skirmish, no weapons were actually used. No mm. bullets were fired. So there is understanding on both the sides and mm. these issues are too, too sensitive to be discussed in such an irresponsible Responsible manner, and if you want to talk about land lost to the Chinese, hmm. why don't we go back to the 62 Chinese War, where 650 kilometers of Indian land was given to the Chinese? Hmm. No reason given to the Chinese. And I also talk about certain instances that happened um, in uh, 2006, 2008. 2009 and 2013, where similar skirmishes happened, the government of the day refused to discuss it in parliament. At that point of time, it was the UPA government. Look at the Congress today and look at the uproar they are creating. In fact, the then Prime Minister, Manmohan Singh Ji, made a statement, which is also mm -hmm. sad. He said, Aisi choti moti baate ho jati, there is no need to discuss it. It's his statement. All people have to do is go and Google it. So today, when you choose to believe um, on rumors, when you're rumor mongering yourself, you're not playing the role of a responsible <coughs> opposition. You are creating trouble in the very country that you promised to protect and look after when you enter politics. It's okay. really, really Charu, sad. Charu, uh, you know, I, I'm sure you agree that there are some important sensitive matters and details, as you pointed out, that cannot be discussed openly, especially on a sensitive issue like this, that point being taken. But a constructive debate, dialogue and a discussion on national security is essential for any democracy. That being said, if the government's position is that we cannot discuss it on the floor of the house uh, th the opposition also says and we've been discussing this issue for the last three days that there has been no attempt to take the opposition parties into confidence there's no all party meet that has been conducted behind closed doors and we have just been kept in the dark we've not been informed anything there's a very short statement that was made on the floor of the house that's all we know but that short statement has been made and uh, I believe that that gives you complete clarity. And, and you know, I don't understand um, what the exact issue is that the Congress wants to dig up at a time like this. What mm -hmm. are you saying when you say the Indian side is not handling this properly? Are you crying out for war? Are you saying there should be a, a battle with bullets fired and missile fires across the border? Is that what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. See, there is a border dispute. There have been repeated talks. The army generals and the seniors mm -hmm. from both sides, both the countries have been in discussion. Mm -hmm. And this is sensitive. Mm -hmm. Please do not create something which is going to... Um, uh, you know, uh, give space to people to cry out for war. That is not something responsible. Okay. And I, I okay. want to repeat okay. this. Armies on both the sides have not fired bullets. Okay, Arshpreet, I'm coming to you. There are there are few crucial points that Charu Pragya is making. The, the key point being that the issue is something that we do not want a debate or a discussion on it on the floor of the house. And when the government is doing so, it is only trying to protect national interests. The BJP is also reminding you of the past precedents on repeated occasions, on multiple occasions, when the Congress took a similar position when you were in government then why have you changed your position when you are now in opposition? Ashpreet. 
Thank, thank you for the question. I heard Charu, you know, without any interruption, I hope she'd follow the same. Number one, uh, you know, we happen to be living in the world's largest democracy, mm. but it's the sorry state of affairs that the government of the world's largest democracy does not want to debate over a national security issue. And as far as this statement of the Bharati Janta Party goes, that it's a sensitive matter, why should we discuss it in the parliament? The defense minister has already issued a statement one way communication does not make up for debate and discussion that does not you know contribute uh, to the world's largest democracy and number two the bharti janta party when was in the opposition back in the day used to ask the congress party to debate over such issues mm -hmm. exactly similar issues where go your morality where go you know your 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 uh, uh, you know uh, accountability hmm. because the bharti janta party only knows how to blow hot and cold at the same time they did this but now that the questions are being posed to the bharti janta party they do not want to debate we Ashpreet. want to know it from the bjp hmm. what are you trying to hide okay. why Ashpreet. are you Ashpreet. trying Ashpreet. to have a follow up question charu i'll come to you charu i'll come to you i'll give you the time so, for rebuttal ashpreet two, ashpreet the, ashpreet just, one just one interjection one interjection and you still have the time sure. to respond when you say that the bjp at that time was demanding a discussion are you reiterating what has been said by the bjp that the UPA government at that time said we cannot discuss on this issue? Was that your stated position? Not at all. Absolutely. Not at all. We always used to have debate Did you discuss discussion because for us, Charu, people come to were, were you know, paramount. The issues were paramount, not the image of our own party like it is for the BJP. Number two, the nation wants to know what happened at Tawang. 130 crore people deserve to know what happened at Tawang. And the BJ for the Bharti Janta Party, you know, Pathar issue, the movie Pathar is a bigger issue than the national security issue. They think Mr. Modi's I'm image is more important than nation security. And, and Charu asked, what does the Congress want out of this? We want the Bharti Janta Party, the government, Okay. Ashpreet, I will take China. all these questions to Charu to and she also wants to put in a rebuttal. But it's only fair. Two, it's only state, fair. It's only fair state that state I also state. ask you this that the language used by some of your leaders, we have discussed the statement of Rahul Gandhi as well. When it comes to matters of national security, uh Jawan and the kind of words that have been used, does that behove a party of your stature? Now if the if you know twisting the statements of our leaders no, no it's not twisting it's not leaders, twisting it's blowing not twisting. things out of proportion no. may, may I, this may I just complete please sure, sure. so if blowing things out of proportion misquoting the statement of our leaders would have helped with this situation go ahead but if it is not helping resolve the situation Ashpreet, please you know, understand I, the duty no, no, no. of uh, the party i don't the think at any point i have heard that entire speech of rahul Number gandhi two, and that entire address of, of rahul gandhi, gandhi and i don't think there is any distortion he said those words he also demanded a discussion on the floor of the house but he did utter those words which we're talking about there's no distortion here the bjp instead of greeting xi jinping with a large shirt, should have okay. greeted I, with I a large I want to bring in Charu into the discussion. Charu, Charu, your time for a rebuttal. Go ahead. Yeah, so I just want to say two things very quickly. Ashpreet, maybe you should go back and check whether Congress discussed internal security on the floor of the House ever or not. And if you're not aware, let me tell you, it never happened. Always. Point number two, Bharti Janta Party in the opposition at no point questioned the valor of the Indian Army. Never that has happened. Congress thinks that uh, it is all right to bring down their dignity and all that they do for the security of this nation. It's sad that you are sitting here and justifying this. Point number three, you want to know what happened in Tawang? You are believing unconfirmed sources rather than believing the voice of your own army seniors, army chiefs, army generals. Please listen to what they have to say. It's already been said. This is a military issue. Do not politicize it. And when it comes Ten to seconds. issues of national security, I'll come nation. to you later. Finish. Choose your nation before you choose your party. And because you want to talk about China, why don't you tell us why did Congress party sign an MOU with China? You are the ones who are taking funding from them. I don't want to politicize this. I only want to say that India is well protected because it is our soldiers who guard us. India is well protected because our government has made it a priority to free their hands. They are not looking to get the go-ahead from anybody in the center of things get difficult. They are very much able to look after themselves at the border and the rest of us.
in any kind Ashpreet, of situation. Ashpreet, before you, respond to, well, before you respond to Charu, there are just few I, I'd like to add. And even earlier, this, this was pointed out by some experts and observers as well, that when the Galvan clash happened and there were multiple instances on the national security issue, the Congress party and the political discourse has often been found on the wrong side. There is a retweaking, certain degree of retweaking that has happened. And these kind of loose statements which are often made, they can't be ignored anymore. They dominate now, headlines. No, 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 two things. We sure. believe the army, we salute the Indian army for the valor that they have shown. You know, every time they've been at the border, we respect them. We have the highest of regards for the army. But for the Bharatiya Janata Party, hmm. its weakness and its timidity has led to so many consequences. And today, our diplomatic ties are as if, you know, everything was normal. Our trade dependency is at an all-time high. And these are the funds. How much funds have been contributed by China to the PMKS fund? Has the Bharatiya Janata Party answered that? Number three, you know, the BJP Charu just said that the Bharatiya Janata Party never tried to load down the morale of the army. Well, you you are the party, you know, you are the government that allowed ISI into the Pathan court base. And Mr. Modi went that's to a, Pakistan to work. That's, a very, that's a very so serious please, charge. You have to always Kashmir. lowered down the morale do you, of the you army. You have, do you have evidence to back the charge? No, no, no. Stick on number three. Stick, stick on number three. Stick on number three. No, no, no. Ashpreet, stick on number three and give me the evidence of what you just said. I, I will go to Charu for a response on that. Give me yeah. evidence of what you just said. Of what? Of what? Pathan court, ISI, what? BJP. That's what you said. Sorry, I beg your pardon. No, your voice broke down. What? No, no, no. You just oh, made a statement that in Pathan court, ISI was allowed and BJP yes. is responsible for that. What yes. is the evidence of that? Well, well, it is everywhere in the Here's media. Everywhere in the media. Air that's air your that's allowed your allowed evidence. Yes, I was allowed into the airbase. Number one. Number two. Charu, you interrupt. I'll keep on interrupting you. No, no, no. Ashpreet, you have, you have I said. No, don't, they, we should believe. Let's, let's, let's believe the Bharti Janata Party. Okay. Let's, let's Charu, let's Charu. Ashpreet, 30 seconds to you and then I will go to Charu and I need to bring in my other guest as well. 30 seconds, yes. So, so, if the BJP wants us to believe the Bharatiya Janata Party and Mr. Modi, hmm. why in 2020 Mr. Modi said in the all-party meet that no intrusion had happened when, as a matter of fact, the foreign minister had categorically told India that hmm. an intrusion had already occurred. Now, how do we believe the Bharatiya Janata Party when it's lying, you know, openly, khuleam, shaream, and the Bharatiya Janata Party till date hasn't apologized for that. Now, I ask Taru, did Mr. Modi say this or not? That no intrusion happened in 2020 when okay. it happened. You've, you've, when it you've made your point. You've made your point. Charu, minister. Charu, the time yeah, is yours. 30 seconds that. to you, and then I will bring in Mr. Chandrasekhar Jha and Major General K.K. Sinha. Charu, please. Anusha, not just the spokesperson of Congress, but the pseudo president, Mr. Gandhi, and many other. Uh, the question. I asked Ashpreet, you, I will not allow you to interrupt. No like, I do not happen. allow anybody no, else to interrupt when you were speaking. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let her, let her make Mr. a point. Modi, she has not. the right to make a point the way she wants Modi, to. She, nobody is going to dictate how you talk on the show, and you will not dictate how somebody else speaks on the show. Charu, please go ahead. No, let her make her point. Charu, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. One at a time, please. Charu, please go ahead. I'll see if you can uh, decently wait because this is not an issue that deserves uh, screaming from your end, especially when you happen to be at the end, which is learning from the Bharatiya Janata Party. Ashpreet, I will not allow you to interrupt. Not, Please let her speak. This is not how a debate will happen here on the show. Please, I request you. Ashpreet, I'm requesting you. Ashpreet, I'm requesting you. Please let her make a point. Uh, please I go ahead, Charu. great offense hmm. as the lies are continues to spread like the rest of the leaders of the Congress party. I ask Learning again, you two, I speak following your footsteps. Of, wait for your not time. done, you not, not gentlemanly and, and not courteous. I speak. to speak in that you will understand. Charu, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. English Charu, go ahead. Understanding. Go ahead. Anusha, and for the last time, Congress is a party that chooses to believe in hearsay and spread rumors, like Ashpreet is doing right now on your show, without any evidence to back up the, the tall, false and sad claims that he is propagating, mm. as Mr. Gandhi does. So I want to say that please stop rumor mongering. If you want to be a political party in this country, stand by your soldiers. Instead of when you have nothing better to see on a television debate, you say, Kahi se to suna tha, kaha se suna tha, mujhe pata nahi hai, lekin ye 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 ho gaya tha. ISI ki baat kar rahe ho. Are you the same party which refused to retaliate even after the terror attack in Mumbai. You're the same party. Please grow a conscience when it comes to our country. Choose India sometime. Don't stand on the wrong side of the border every time there's a problem.
Pakistan. Are you ever with India? You know, Ashpreet, when when responsible police officers are involved, they are always involved. Sometimes you are with China, sometimes you are with Pakistan. Are you ever with India? You know, Ashpreet, when when responsible political party spokesperson like you, who are learned, well respected, make an assertion on national television, I believe that you must have some kind of evidence. Then you are no different from those people who hand out certificates of nationalism to people and doubt the credibility of your own party or whether you are nationalist or not. So if you make a claim, there must be evidence. It can't be that kahi hamne pada tha. It's all over the media. When you are making that very serious statement, yes. you have to back it up with proof. now 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 allow me to give an answer one i'll show the report on the tv you know that this happened but can the bharatiya janata party show a report that no intrusion happened at la i Mr. want to move Mr. forward from that point i want to move Hui forward Hui. sorry ashwin i'll come back to you mr chandrashekhar ja i'm happened. coming to you mr chandrashekhar ja i'm coming to you the, There is a statement that Mr. Sanjay Raut has made today, and he said, "Baat inch ki nahi hai." वैसे तो उनकी सरकार जो दिल्ली में बैठी है, वो भी inch inch की भाषा करती है कि चाइना को inch नहीं देंगे, लेकिन चाइना घुस आया है. That's the word, exact word that Mr. Sanjay Raut said. Is this a responsible language when it comes to a national security issue when our forces are dealing with a difficult situation along the LAC, Mr. Jha? uh the first thing is that what i have to tell uh, in this national media hmm. that the issue for bjp right now is who is rashtrapita and who what not to be a rashtrapita uh, mr narendra modi should be declared as rashtrapita and uh, mahatma gandhi instead of mahatma gandhi so uh, the issue lies with the bjp what is the importance of the issue of a china border or uh, the issue of declaring a rashtrapita is very important you have made an important uh, point but why don't you answer the question i asked you mr jha most yes, respectful i am coming to the point yes but uh, the thing is that uh, the issue of belgavi is pending for a long time hmm. and there is no action by this uh, so called ed sarkar running in the maharashtra hmm. and therefore what has happened the karnataka cm has issued threats Uh, and uh, has made certain statements which are pro which are provocative hmm. and to that response this response has come so in in any manner this is a provocative statement it can't be assessed at this moment this is a statement made in a particular way that if china can come we can also come and we can save our border are you and this statement cannot be construed that so, it's an mr insult ja, to mr ja mr ja does that yeah. help your argument or does that negate your argument the fact that you're comparing maharashtra or equating maharashtra with china and you're saying karnataka is india no, no. and you're going no. to transgress is that really an appropriate example to give is that the language you should make i mean i'm appalled you're saying that that means that means that we don't require any permission to go into our border and which the karnataka cm has said at this moment hmm. that uh, we will uh, not allow anybody to enter the border so hmm. in that response it has come Hmm. it is not an insult to our jawans of the country if it is believed that then it is it is a sorry uh, taking place uh, on national media also hmm. but eventually this statement has been made with some kind of uh, mr sir i i do believe that not. if one politician or another says something bad about our armed forces or which can be implied to be bad about our armed forces i don't think that really affects the stature of our armed forces in the eyes of any good citizen any responsible citizen it reflects on the political party it reflects on the neta who speaking the language of this nature uh, i'm no, not i'm not saying that mr sanjay raut said anything bad about our security forces all i'm saying is that this is a very loose comment to make at a very a sensitive situation at no, point in time no the sensitive issue is that hmm. when china is in uh, in uh, coming down on our border these issues have not been debated by bjp in central or anywhere else hmm. they want to escape this kind of issues from doklam since the doklam and uh, this tawan all the issues have been bifurcated and deviated hmm. and nothing else they don't want to discuss about the issues on security because it's an important issue of international security also so before China before, before i go to major general kk sin i want to ask this to you categorically does your party and you support the statement made by mr sanjay raut see mr. the statement has been made on a provocation given by the karnataka cm hmm. so we agree with the statement but that agreement combines that there is no insult to any of our jawans of the country do you think it's a loose statement to make mr jha do you think this is a loose statement to make
All right, I don't think I'm getting a response on that. Major General KK Sinan, I'm coming to you. You have heard the political party spokesperson, you've heard the political leaders of this country, and we're talking about national security issue. Uh, we have forces which are guarding us along the LAC, a very difficult nation and multiple friction points that we are facing. How does this narrative really impact our Jawan, our armed forces and officers like you when you hear this political discourse? Major General Sena. Uh, Anusha, good evening. Good evening, sir. And Jai Hind. Uh, look, uh, when you see this cheap, um, you know, when you, you know, and the armed forces, when they see this type of cheap political, you know, uh, gimmicks going around and um, on national security issue, and national security issue is an issue which, you know, out of 195 countries in the world, mm. no one, no one, you know, um, you know, does it the way it has started now. Mm. It was not the norm. 75 years of our, you know, existence after the independence, the number of, you know, time when we have gone through even the bad situations, 62, we started in 47, 48, and come down to anything which is happening along the LAC, whether it's happening with the Pakistan or now with the two and a half front, it never, but now it has become a norm. Hmm. It has become a norm to uh, give a beating, you know, had a very derogatory, very cheap remarks on your armed forces. Mm. At the same time, say that we salute them, mm. we are standing with them, but you are trying to create a narrative which is actually helping, you know, your adversaries. Major General Sina, is it is it the new law in the narrative or perhaps the law that already existed is being called out more often? Absolutely, it's a new law. Mm. It has not been there. Mm. Even after, you know, 62 war, if 67, if you, Natula, if you remember what happened, you know, 400 Chinese killed 80, was there no one, no one even that time mm. made anyone, you know, this type of matter. When some wrong shoe happened in 87, 88, before the Rajiv Gandhi in 88 went to China, mm. and thereafter, the things started changing. Mm. You know, even during that time, the you know, some wrong shoe, is same in the Tawang sector. Hmm. It is, you know, where you are saying, you know, where is Yang say that debate is not there even today. Hmm. And the people who understand the Shandong Chu, the standoff for 87, from 86 to 87, for one whole year, Sundar under Sundar hmm. And we were up through to the piggyback, and, but, uh, you know, no debate. Hmm. Rajiv Gandhi went in 88, hmm. then the peace and tranquility, you know, your yep. confidence building measures, all yep. this started. No debate. Today, when you are starting a debate, debate is okay, fine. Hmm. Whether, you know, you should be given more number of squadrons. The squadron was depleting, hmm. depleting hmm. to the extent that it has come down to, you know, criticality of um, 29 out of 45. So, and sir, before, before I go back yeah. to my political guest, there's, there's one part, I think, which BJP Congress Shiv Sena would want to hear from somebody like you, that when it comes to national security, should there be a united political stance in this country above party politics? Because clearly, this party-specific politics, this bickering between the government and the opposition, the kind of barbs that we have seen, which does not behove the uh, you know the, the political leaders who are speaking them, uh, this does not help the cause. This does not help the entire concept of national interests, which we are pursuing along the LSE on the diplomatic channels on on the diplomatic tables. Uh, uh. And so you are asking me. Yes, sir. It? Yes, Major General Sinan, I'm yeah. asking you. See, you have to understand, you know, for for national security, you have got councils, you have got, you know, the forum on which these things are discussed. Hmm. Then the chief, the people who matters, they come and tell you. Hmm. Whether it was happening in Balakot, whether it happened in Galwan, every time and thereafter, the Raksha Mantri, who is responsible, comes and gives you, you know, okay, what has exactly happened. Yeah. Off late that even like an you know, Eastern Army commander in, after the Siang say he's openly come to the media because the media has become you know very very important where the people come to know exactly what has happened. He has sure. given you very clear that we have given a good thrashing. You know these people have run and, away from and that there. and that positioning is very important at a time when we face a propaganda war and information war coming from an adversary like China that Major General Sena is talking about. I want to go back to Charu Pragya and Ashpreet Kadial. Ch uh, Charu once again. Reiterating what I had asked you earlier in the beginning of the show, is there a need for political consensus and understanding to be built across party lines and the onus lies on the elected government of the day? 
Uh, I agree with you. There is a, a very, very grave need, urgent need for this consensus to exist. Mm -hmm. And I think this consensus can begin by the opposition parties choosing to believe the statements which our army seniors are making to the media, mm -hmm. by choosing to believe the statement which our defense ministers are making, rather than choose, being with um, unconfirmed sources and uh, rumor mongering. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Second thing, it's really sad when um, even on television, educated people like Arshpreet take the line of debate that they do. I come from a family of uniformed men. Hmm. Please do not doubt them or their intention or their ability to protect this nation. The government stands behind them, not in front of them. Hmm. So today, when you question the government, you indirectly I... question them. Arshpreet, I'll come to you. I'll give you the time to respond. So, Charu, basically, my question to you is that can there be an all-party meeting? Can there be an, uh, you know, initiative from the side of the government when all political parties can sit on the table? To I'm be more sure, precise. If, uh, yes, if, if there is a requirement for that, I am sure that uh, the government is going to initiate that as well. But at the same time, my yeah. very strong and very firm question to the opposition is, hmm. why do Mamonga? Okay. When your own I have, I have last one minute, to... Ashpreet. Is there a need to be more careful when it comes to discourse around national security? Politics can be kept aside. Definitely, the Bharatiya Janata Party really needs to understand that and take it to their heart. Because the Bharatiya Janata Party has tried and ensured that the, that the stance of India was divided instead of being united. Because, you know, it, it was the Bharatiya Janata Party hmm. that kept quiet about this issue. And it was, the parliament was running. It had been three to four days despite this issue having, you know, uh, transpired, nobody talked about it from the Bharatiya Janata Party and it only came forward after the media report came to forth. And number you. two, you know, the Bharatiya Janata Party is preventing us from having a united stand by not having a debate discussion over this issue. Once everybody knows about it, we can walk towards, you know, way forward, having a uh, concrete plan of action which I, everybody I'd, can agree I'd like upon. I'd like to end this debate, I'm short of time. I'd but like to end this debate with a hope not, that we can have a culture of political discourse in this country where we have a united front, a united political front, especially on matters of national security. And these kind of loose, irresponsible statements do not come from different political parties or different quarters. With that, it's a wrap. Thank you for joining us. Greha joins you with the biggest exclusive. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome. You're watching the biggest exclusive tonight with me, Grihatul Siddiqui. Remember how we've been talking about the rising COVID cases in China and how top health experts are suggesting this can spiral out of control by a monumental proportion, killing more than 1 million people through 2023. This, of course, should get India thinking, since we don't want to go back to where we were when the Delta variant hit and led to the deadly second wave that the country witnessed. Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia thereby held a high-level review meeting with top officials and health experts today to chalk out the strategy to prevent another spike in cases in the country. Let's first break down what came out of that very meeting. So India has held this COVID review meeting. Let's actually take uh, you through the key takeaways. Number one, they're talking about strengthening surveillance because it's very, very important to look at the new variants and then devise public health measures. Mask up in crowded 